In trying to learn state flow, my first thought was to look through some examples so I could pick a project to replicate. But do I know how to model a PWM-driven hydraulic servo mechanism? Definitely not. I mean, it took me like 30 takes just to pronounce it correctly. So, I turned to the most educational, enlightening, and complex piece of machinery I've ever encountered to reproduce instead. And that, without a doubt, is Simon. Simon! So, in this video, I'm going to explain how I use Stateflow, MATLAB, and App Designer to create my own version of Simon. First, what is Stateflow? Stateflow is a control logic tool used to model and simulate state machines. A state machine being a device that can go between different modes when an event occurs. For example, here, you watch Soldier Boy crank it, then roll, crank that Soldier Boy, and finally, Superman that. Anyway, after a condition's been met, or enough time has passed, Stateflow will transition to the next state, subsequently executing the code inside of it. The first step in creating the game was to make the UI. Using App Designer, I was able to make the whole thing with only seven components. By limiting the amount I used, it was a lot easier to control the whole app in my state flow chart. For example, instead of using both a button and a lamp for every color on the board, I chose to mimic a lamp by changing the color of the buttons during the game. After completing the UI, I moved on to the code. I wrote all of the logic using this state flow chart, which is split into two main states. Wait, which the player is in before every new game, and Gameplay, which controls all of the action while Simon is actually running. Gameplay can be broken down even further. It starts with the pattern being created and displayed, then the user goes into a cycle of pressing buttons and having the computer check whether they get a point or lost the game. Let's use pass as a more specific example of a state. When the player reaches it, the game's pattern increases in length and the game speeds up unless it's already going really quickly. Then, after half a second passes, this variable is reset to zero and the pattern is repeated again. The final piece of logic is the group of MATLAB functions up at the top. Despite all of the code in the states being in MATLAB, using functions helps to organize and declutter the chart. To illustrate that, here's a chart with functions, and here's the chart without them. Since my goal wasn't to make my own version of the Life of Pablo album cover, using functions was the way to go. And when all of this is put together, it makes this intense game of Simon.